Hello and welcome back to Off-Road Yota Exploration. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video we're going to have a look at my recovery gear, what I carry in the truck all the time and what I pack when I go on off-roading trips. When it comes to recovery gear, I think it's always important to carry something with you, especially if you're going out by yourself. Make sure you can get yourself out of any situation that you might get yourself into. It's also good to always be able to help others if they get stuck. Um, you don't need to carry everything, carry what you can afford, but just be aware of what you have with you when you go out. And don't overextend yourself and find yourself in a situation where you don't have what you need to get yourself out. One of the most important and versatile um, pieces of equipment you can have to self-recover or even to help recover other people is the winch. I have a Warn VR Evo 12S winch with synthetic line. I've done a full video on the winch and how I use it and how I've set it up. Um, I also make sure that in the truck I always carry with me what I need. I also carry my winch controller as well as the cable to be able to charge the wind con controller or plug it in directly. In here I've also got a little battery power bank. This can be used to jump start the truck. I've got the cables for it underneath the back seat. I can plug in on the side right here to be able to jump start the truck. This also just works as a power bank to charge a phone or any other batteries. In the back of the truck, underneath the seat here, we've got the stock jack. This is always in the truck, obviously. And then as well as the tools that are needed to use the jack and to be able to retrieve the spare tire. I also carry some miscellaneous tools in here. On the driver's side, in the door, I carry a set of gloves use for whatever but specifically for winching. I also carry a bow shackle, a rated bow shackle. This one is from ARB. I also carry a soft shackle. Again this one is also rated. Make sure I use good reliable equipment that won't let me down in a situation when I need it most. Under this seat here, carry a set of jumper cables, as well as a 20 foot tow strap. And then in here are the cables to use with the power bank to be able to uh, be able to jump start the truck if I don't have anybody else to jump off of. Here under the hood, we have the ARB twin air compressor in the back of the truck. I carry two of these toolbox at all times. One of them is filled with tools. The other one has got some miscellaneous truck parts and recovery gear that I carry. And here I've got my 40 foot winch line extension. I have a little piece of wood here to be able to use as a base for the jack as well. We'll be able to lift it up a bit higher if I need some more clearance. I also have a snatch block from Factor 55. This is one of the snatch rings. I prefer to use a regular snatch block, but this is nice and small and I can carry it in the truck at all times. I also have the ARB Easy Flate system to be able to air down. Here I carry the hoses to be able to air up with using the ARB compressor underneath the hood. This is a digital gauge that I use to air up. That's from ARB. Down here we have the ARB tire patch kit. 
great little kit comes with everything you need to fix a puncture that you may get on the trail or on the road you've got the glue things here as well as the tools to be able to put them in and it also comes with a few valve cores some valve stems valve covers anything tire related you might need to make sure you can retain the air in your tire Also got some miscellaneous parts, just some towels and koozies. Uh, got an extension cord to be able to use with the outlet that's in the back of the truck here for anything. So got some paracord in here, as well as a recovery point that can be put into a hitch. I have recovery points all around my truck on the bumpers. However, if I need to recover somebody, I could put this into their hitch and then use it as an anchor for myself or to be able to recover them. And that's about it for the stuff that I carry in my truck. Most of the stuff, as you see, is from ARB. They make some great, reliable products. I've come to trust them and have used them and I've never had an issue. When I go on off-roading trips and I know I'll be putting the truck in vulnerable positions where I might need some additional support. I carry some additional recovery equipment as well as a box full of spare parts like a spare axle, some inner and outer tie rods, some, a spare hub and some additional spare parts. But I also carry some additional recovery gear to what I carry normally on the truck. I've got a set of traction boards. These are just a very cheap set. Um, I'd like to get a proper set from Max Tracks, but with the price I haven't pulled the trigger yet and I got this free pair from a friend. Um, they work okay and I'm sure they'll get me out of a sticky situation if I need them, so I carry them just in case. Uh, as a jack, I've got the Pro Eagle 2-ton floor jack. This thing is amazing. I use this as my home jack as well for working on the truck, everything I need. But off-road, it works great as well. It's got a nice little flat bottom here, so it doesn't sink into the ground off of the wheels. Large wheels make it nice and maneuverable, whether it's just in the garage or out on the trails. It's got a great reach with the extension here. This can easily be removed and added on to the main jack portion over here. This ties in like that and then it raises it about an additional 8 inches. And then if you need even more reach, it can be lifted even higher. that height there so that's probably another four inches so approximately about 12 inches additional lift I believe the two-ton jack can reach up to about 21 inches not 100% sure I can put the information right here on the screen for the height that it can lift uh, it's a great jack haven't had any issues very reliable can reach a lot of areas it's not a full replacement for a high lift jack, but for the what uses I've had for it, it's been able to do everything. There are a few places where a high lift jack will be more useful, where this just might not be able to reach, but everything else this thing will be able to do, and in a lot safer manner than a high lift jack can. And then I also carry a bag of additional recovery gear on the side here we have another bow shackle also the ARB one as well as an additional soft shackle on the other side we have another larger soft shackle And then we 
come to the main compartment. And then here we have a few straps and other gear. First we have a nice visible tree saver strap from ARB. And then we've got, this is a snatch rope from ARB. Ratings are for this one. This is snatch strap from ARB. Maximum braking strength, 17,500 pound. One, as we can see here by the check mark. I'm not exactly sure on the length. Uh, I'd say probably about 20 to 30 feet long. I have not had to use this one, but I have used other snatch straps in the past and they work very well to, in situations where a winch might not be as effective. It's always better to try and pull somebody out with a snatch strap than with a static strap. Talking about static lines, this is a winch line extension or a toe strap. Uh, this one is quite long. Is here. This one's rated up to 9,900 pounds, it's a 20 meter, so that's about 60 feet. Uh, this is the winch line, this one said 9M, so that would be 9 meters, so that would be about 30 feet. Yeah. But this is can be used as a extension, winch line extension, or just as a toe strap. And here we also have a winch line dampener. In here. And then the bag could also be used as a winch line dampener. And then we also have ARB 20,000 pound snatch block. This thing is great. I've used it a few times. Very reliable, does a great job. Found these a little bit more trustworthy and reliable than the snatch rings just because it maintains the rope in there. It has a bearing that allows it to constantly rotate rather than cause friction on the rope. Although they are a little bit more heavier, I do find them a little bit more trustworthy. When it comes to recovery gear, there's a lot of options out there nowadays. Some cheaper stuff, some more expensive stuff. In general, the more expensive stuff is better, it's more tested, it's more reliable. Uh, but that doesn't always tell the full story. Make sure you look at the products you buy, make sure that they are actually tested, they have a rating on them, and that the company that makes them stands behind their product. Going along with that, recovery gear is not everything most important thing you can do is educate yourself about off-roading and recovery. There's some great options out there for training. It's amazing how much proper training can help you out of most situations, whether it's being able to drive or knowing techniques to be able to get yourself unstuck. Therefore, I believe the best recovery gear out there is your own knowledge and being able to understand your truck, how it works, everything that you can do with it and then as well as some tricks to be able to get you out of some bad situations. That brings us to the end of the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.